Hello, people. Guess what I'm doing today? I'm doing Oprah's morning routine. Well, not today. I'll do it tomorrow, because I have to sleep first. Hi, baby. I'm doing Oprah's morning routine tomorrow. Did I say routine? I'm doing Oprah's morning routine tomorrow. My research coordinator, Elena, pulled a bunch of interviews and research to see what Oprah's morning routine is. However, since I'm not a billionaire, I'm gonna be doing it on my own budget and using stuff that I have around my own house rather than buying a whole bunch of stuff that Oprah uses. I want to see how my life changes if I take on her morning for myself. So for my morning routine, I usually wake up sometime between 8 and 8.30, get up, pee, poop, shower, feed my cat, and then I kind of jump in the car and go. We have some food at work, bagels if it's a Friday, and then I'll usually work out after work. There isn't a whole lot of fuss. I do think that it'll be cool having a set routine that I have to follow. I think it might take some of the stress of the morning off because it won't be like, what am I gonna eat for breakfast? When do I do this? When do I do that? What's happening? It'll just be like, hi, here's your list. Check it off, do it. So, let's see what Oprah does. Oprah says she wakes up usually between 6.02 and 6.20 a.m. She doesn't set an alarm and wakes up naturally because of her dogs. She says of her process, I don't believe in alarms. I find them alarming. That's a direct quote. Can't you see Oprah saying that? I put the number in my mind and I wake up before that, usually because the dogs are trained to go out around that time. Put the number in your mind? That's above human. What's the word for above? Super. There it is. Oprah is once again proving that she is superhuman. Okay, so tonight I am going to set an alarm. I'll do 619 and then we'll go from there. Okay, 619. I don't feel super tired. I went to sleep at a pretty okay time. I do wish I was a little less tired. But, um, time to get on with the day. Her first thought that she says in the morning is, oh, I'm alive, thank you. That's something that I don't typically do. I usually don't wake up with a sense of gratitude. I usually wake up with a sense of, why was I up playing my games so late? I should have gone to sleep earlier. James, you're alive. Oh, you're alive. Thinking that thought actually makes um, 619 feel not quite as painful, but this feels early. I guess it's about getting a jump start on your day though, right? Then she brushes her teeth and lets her dogs out to use the bathroom. So that will be when I feed James. Oh God damn it, it's fine. Next, Oprah lets her dogs out. I don't have a dog, but I do have a lion. And he actually does like going outside. Yeah. By 6.45, Oprah has made a chai tea or skim cappuccino and has put on sneakers to prepare for her time at the gym. So she gets to the gym early. I don't drink chai. I'm gonna have to go out and get some chai. I've decided to get ready for the gym before I drink my, what? <laughs> That's too early. I've decided to get ready for the gym before I feed James and everything because being in my gym wear already while I'm doing those things, I think kind of helps me get into the mood, get into the mom of working out. He's like, it's too early. I don't usually eat at this time. But you know what's the same. So 6.45 now. I'm actually on time. I thought that I was gonna be late. Just cause. But Oprah makes a chai tea with skim milk. A little bit lactose sensitive, so I'm gonna use some almond milk. But I did get some chai mix. So I feel like Oprah probably does not use a powder from Trader Joe's. But that's what we're going with today because I'm not Oprah 
and I don't know how to make fancy stuff. I don't have the technology. James, I don't think Oprah has this wild rumpus. This is a lot of tea. The thing is I am more hungry than I am thirsty, especially before going to the gym. Is this sugar what gives her her energy, her strength? I don't know. I feel like I'm probably missing something there. Let's go. 7.05 a.m. By this time, Oprah is working out in her home gym. Nope. By this time, Oprah is working out in her home gym on an octane elliptical machine. I do not have a home gym, but there's a gym by my home. It is a beautiful day outside. I think that sort of morning mantra of, oh, I'm alive, kind of does help to give you some perspective on random stuff that I normally wouldn't care about. It's my friend Kelly. <laughs> Kelly. Hi, Kelly. Hi. You taking me to the gym? Yes. Yay. Seven. Let's go. <laughs> We're off to the gym. Kelly, you're my Gail today. I'm a friend. Kelly, Kelly's my friend Gail today. I do not have an assistant. I assume Oprah has one, if not multiple assistants. I'm not saying you're my assistant, but I'm saying thank you for driving me to the gym. It's like a fancy Uber ride. Sure. She usually does 20 minutes on the elliptical, 30 minutes walking on the treadmill, and finishes her workout with sit-ups. I usually go to a spin class. I do what they say, I sweat, I drink protein, I leave. Going to the gym, especially in the morning, will be a little bit new for me. I haven't really done an elliptical for a long time. Like for a long time. While she works out, she watches Eye Opener Hits on CBS This Morning to appreciate Gail King and her crazy ass necklaces. Kelly, are you gonna go on TV? Great. Finish Oprah's workout. A little sweaty. So now we go home and make an Oprah breakfast. 8 a.m. Oprah tries to take about 20 minutes to do some form of walking or sitting meditation and prefers to sit in a seat by a window or outside on her balcony. But if she's in a time crunch, she'll shorten her meditation to 10 to 12 minutes. The weather is beautiful today, so I'm going to meditate out here. I have pulled up a guided meditation on my computer, so I'll follow along with that. Let's get Tatin. Meditating. Oprah. Honestly, I really liked meditating. I don't meditate ever. So I think the meditating really kind of like calm me down and set the tone for the day. Wake up with gratitude, exercise, and some deep thought. Wow. That was pretty nice. <laughs> I think I feel very relaxed now. And I um, guess it's time for breakfast. Let's go do it. For breakfast. Oh, damn it. She finishes her workout with sit-ups. Breakfast time. 8.38 a.m. She eats breakfast. Oprah eats medium boiled eggs and a piece of multigrain toast for breakfast. And then from another interview, she said that she eats a lot of fruit. Passion fruit, raspberries, blueberries, sliced banana, avocado on toast. So we're gonna incorporate all of that into this breakfast and she'll make breakfast for anyone else who is in her home. So Kelly, got some eggs coming your way. So me and Kelly slash Gail, mm -hmm. we're done with breakfast. I don't know exactly when Oprah showers, so I'm going to do it now before I kind of get started with my business for the day. So, bye. Wait, I was gonna say something, but I don't remember what it is. So Oprah likes things that are flowy and billowy, if she's just gonna be hanging out, which kind of means like a flowy skirt and a billowy top. I don't really have anything that super matches that, so I'm going to wear a dress that I wear on vacation. That way I can be comfortable and try to channel my inner Oprah with things that I already have. By 9 a.m., when she's finished her breakfast, she makes phone calls, does her banking, and just conducts business. 
If you're anything like me, you'll notice one glaring omission from that schedule, and that is, when does Oprah poop? So conducting her business usually fills up her time until around 12.30 noon, and so that's what I'll do. She's like, all right, had me, time to give them some of me. We got paid yesterday. Hello. So I got a bank. I actually have a video that I need to wrap up and package. So I'm gonna work on that right now too. And then she'll take all her business calls and everything now. I don't have any business calls today, so I might just see if my manager is available to like chat. Hello. Megan. Hello. Hello. How's James taking everything? James is, he's doing great. He's just, you know, living his life and um, sitting. Well, interestingly enough, I do have some business to run through with you. Oh, um, great. Hey right, ladies, um, well, have, have you and Gail have fun. Thank uh, you. I'll see you guys later on this afternoon. Okay, sounds good. Bye, Megan. <laughs> Bye. Wow, so much business to tend to. Is your leg a little bit off? Does it look like it's bent in the wrong direction? <laughs> I'll give him, give him uh, one of yeah. these. Oh, the door's open. Okay, we're back. Hello. Wow. This day was honestly a lot more relaxing than I thought it was gonna be. It's kind of nice doing it all at home. That way when I get to the office, I'm only doing things that have to be done in the office. I just feel a lot more relaxed and like I get more work done. And so it was kind of nice having something that I just had to follow. This was my first time doing a billionaire's morning routine. Thanks Oprah for giving those interviews where I could kind of piece together what your morning routine is. I know that it was like a little bit imperfect and there's probably stuff that she does better than I do, obviously, but this was really cool to see. Whose morning routine should I lurk on next? Let's get crazy. Let's get crazy. Oh, bruh. Bye.